Welcome to this video, my name is Eva and in this video I want to talk about ex-vegans and why they bother me so much and I just want to explain a lot because I think it's so important to talk about it so that people don't fall into mindset traps um, and first of all I want to say that in real life I'm a very chill person so for example I'm, I, I don't eat meat for 10 years now but my family still does many of my super close friends they still eat meat and I still love them so and if a person stops eating meat or starts eating meat it doesn't really change how much I love them and also when I'm for example at a family dinner of course I think dude how it's 2022 how can you still eat meat but I, I'm not saying that I'm, I'm just super respectful and because when I was younger I was really um, ridiculed for not eating meat by friends and it really took a toll on me so I make it a priority to always be respectful to other people in, in reality in real life but when it comes to this YouTube channel I really want to share my honest opinion and really um, help people to, with their mindset when it comes to veganism so that they don't yeah, fall into mindset traps that leads them to harming their health so in this video I just really want to give an honest explanation about things and also I think it's important to note of course when for example a public figure um, states that, they're, that they are not vegan anymore it's not for me a personal attack on them I don't know them most of the time so it's not a personal attack but there is just one thing about being a friend who stops being vegan because I'm like yeah okay sad but I still like you and the public figure because a public figure it's just so dangerous because this person influences a lot of people with a harming message with a message of veganism doesn't work for example when someone was five years vegan or five years um, I would say plant-based and they start to eat animal products again and they share it with their audience and say hey I was so sick being vegan and now I'm so healthy eating meats again that's just a super harmful message and I influence so many people and that's why I think it's important to talk about that because it's it will like it's just so harmful to people because I mean it, it's just a given fact that meat is cancerous for the so for health it's obviously super dangerous for the planet for the environment for climate change it's super dangerous and harmful to eat meat and also for your health and for the animals of course it's just I mean you're living, you're eating an animal so that's why I want to talk about it. And now let's get into some mindset or some beliefs that people have who go back to eating animals. The first thing is they they have not made the connection to like about saving animals or helping animals and it's more about me. So and and that's why many people say that those people were never vegan because vegan is about understanding the connection between food and what it has for in, in effect for for the environment for the animals and for your own health but plant-based people or people who eat plant-based they don't have that connection they're just eating it for their health and they have not just have not made the connection how like that when you eat meat it is an animal I mean it is literally a cow it is a pig and a cow and a pig is an animal and they have feelings they are their own beings and those people just have not made the connection yet and yeah so that's one thing why people go back because they just they don't think they just think about themselves for example oh I had um, for example stomach problems or or I had gas and bloating then you can differentiate one person who is who was really vegan who made the connection about and who did a lot of research who read books who watched documentaries and all of that who has made that solid connection of okay <laughs> this is how the meat consumption affects my body the environment and animals they will do everything they will change their diet but they will always stay vegan for example they eat more fruit and, veg fruit and vegetables maybe I have an allergy to certain things maybe beans made me blo bloated so I don't eat that much beans whatever it is but they will always stay vegan because they know that it's just a given fact that veganism is what works for humans because our digestive tract is designed for plants and it's not designed for meats so yeah and then you have the 
plant-based person who hasn't made that connection and of course when they do it when they go vegan when they go vegan for their health and they experience health issues they stop being vegan you know but you really have to make that connection you really have to watch documentaries such as Cowspiracy or Seaspiracy I think it's called or Earthlings and really understand how the different components interact with each other and how kind of things are connected and how meat consumption or dairy consumption, egg consumption is contrib contributing to so much harm for your health, for the environment and for the animals. So that's the first big thing. Then the person in the video, who, like the ex-vegan in the video said um, why, yeah, why they stopped being vegan. So the first one was because they had um, health problems. And my answer is like, if, if veganism is not working for you, you're doing it wrong. And it's, it, it should not, I, I don't want to uh, be mean or something, but it's just like that. It's, it's the same when you have a cow and the cow has maybe broke her leg, the cow doesn't start to eat a dog, you know, the cow will continue to eat grass because that's the, your, that's the species specific diet for the cow. So the cow will always eat grass and it's the same for humans. Humans are not designed to eat meat. Uh, there are so many studies, there's, there's so much information out there that can back it up and just if you have common sense or if you study a little bit how the anatomy of the body is is then it's just easy to see that and yeah so when you're sick find ways to overcome that by changing your diet but it doesn't mean that you have to start eating animal products again it's a really big one um, another thing that is important was is uh, was that the person said uh, listen to your inner voice and I agree that in many contexts it is important to listen to your own voice, to your inner voice. But when it comes to veganism, it's not. it has nothing to do with inner voice. It's just common sense that eating meat or dairy or animal products is just harmful and has a negative effect on your health, the environment and, and um, animals. It's, it has nothing to do with spirituality or whatever. It's just common like common facts and you can read it everywhere there are great books about it so yeah it, i think it's just it's like it's like saying i i, I don't it, for me listening to my own voice when it comes to veganism so i stopped being vegan because my inner voice told me it's like saying i don't know an example and um, of course everyone says gravity exists but i I don't think so. So it doesn't exist, you know? I think it's really about learning, it's about studying, it's about reading books, it's about watching documentaries about veganism, so so that you actually have studied what it's all about. Um, another thing is a vegan diet is unhealthy and there I can just say, hey, there's so many ways to eat vegan. Of course, if you eat um, processed um, meat alternative products or lots of vegan junk food, it's not healthy. But first, it's still healthier than eating animal products because, I mean, when you eat animal products, you also process them. So it's not just like you eat raw meat, hopefully, because that's super disgusting to eat raw meat. I mean, don't do it. And so it's still processed when you eat meat. So when you think that <laughs> a vegan diet is unhealthy, make it healthy. I mean, cook your own meals or eat more fruit and vegetables. There are so many ways to make a vegan diet work for you and make it healthy. So for me, that's just no excuse. Another thing that the person said was um, she wants or she or he wants to do what they want. And I think, of course, it's important to do things that you want to do, but still it's important to take responsibility. And when, for example, meat consumption is just such a big factor to so much unhappiness, then the best thing is to not do it. It's the same to say um, you have to be nice to other people. And then one person says, yeah, no, I don't want to do that. No, you have to be nice to people. That's just, <laughs> you have to take responsibility to to be nice to other people. So for me, that's just no excuse. Um, another thing is, um, what, what is the thing? Uh, you can speak up 
about animal harm and animal abuse even though you're not vegan and I think that's true yes you can do it but why would you contribute to it I mean I'm grateful for everyone who says um, veg who says animals have to have a better life that's amazing but why do you eat animals you know I think why, why not do both why not speak out about animal rights and stop eating them you know, that's we, I just don't understand that. Another thing that they say is vegan is this label and they don't want to have this label. It's like putting themselves in this box and it's just too much. And I really would encourage people to say it's not a 100% or nothing thing. It's, veganism for me is about doing the best that you can. So it's about, for example, um, I was in Cuba um, some years ago and I think I ate some rice and I didn't know that the rice was cooked in animal broth or something like that and I just realized it later or one time my mom bought a wrap for me and she thought it was vegan but it was vegetarian whatever so I ate cheese and I just realized it afterwards it's or or maybe you have clothes that is um, wool or whatever it is so it's about doing the best that you can it's not you have to be this perfect vegan or you cannot be vegan at all it's just doing what feels doing the best that you can literally that's what veganism is about but it is not uh, eating meats every day that's not vegan vegan is really to give an effort and i would say of course i mean i'm fruit based mostly raw vegan and that can be I have to say that can be difficult and not everyone can do that but veganism is just I mean it is easy it is just yeah in most of the cases if you have uh, if you take responsibility it's and you prepare a little bit it, it can be done for sure I mean you can just buy bread or you can buy rice or you can buy crackers is it always healthy when you're stressed no but it is definitely possible to do that and it has not this person also said yes they have so much stress with school I mean I w I'm, I'm vegan no I'm I don't eat meat for 10 years so over the 10 years I definitely had times where I had time to prepare food and I had time not to prepare food because I was super stressed but I always managed to not eat animals so it's really veganism or vegetarianism is not about practicality practicality it's really more about you want it you do it you don't want it you don't do it it's it's really like that is it your priority or not um so definitely you don't need to put yourself in a box just do the best that you can and study books watch documentaries so that you because once you have that connection about veganism and once you have that connection okay and meat is the factor that causes so much harm and suffering you, you just and that meat is really dead animals it's the corpse of a dead animal and uh, you don't you just don't want to eat a dead animal because you know it's not meant for you and it's very i think for me it's just impossible to eat meat again because and i just know it's hey it's a dead animal you know so i think uh, that's another thing another thing was uh, <laughs> that the person said um eating also at this point in the video i want to say my english is not perfect i'm not a native speaker i give my best so another thing that the person said was well, it's just then the cycle of life eating meat is the cycle of life and i would really encourage this person to study a little bit our human evolution and that we originated in the rainforests and we were just our digest digestive tract and that yes for lions or for cats or for meat eaters it is the cycle of life that the lion um, eats meat like kills a giselle and eats the meat but for humans that's just not the case so for humans the cycle of life does not embody harming or killing other animals um, and you, there's just so much evidence of that. It's, it's a child would never, if you give a child a banana, the child would eat the banana, but and peel the banana and eat it, or a strawberry. But the child would not see a rabbit take a knife, uh, cut the, uh, cut the rabbit open and eat the flesh. That's just not in our genes. That's not natural. And the lion would do that because it's natural for the lion. So really, differentiate and learn a bit, study a little bit more. Um, another thing is people change and um, yes people change I'm not the same person that I was 10 years ago obviously but 
morals don't have to change and integrity doesn't have to change and there are just some you know some some given facts like one fact is be nice to other people be respectful to other people don't cause harm and suffering if it's not necessary and if you're in a third world country or if you probably you, you are in a position that you don't need to that you're not suffering from famine then you you just don't need to eat meat in my opinion because you can always eat bread or rice or whatever so yes people change but your integrity doesn't have to change um, another thing was uh, vegans have their own agenda <laughs> and I hear that again and again and again and the thing is what agenda I mean vegans are just normal people who have studied who have read books who have watched documentaries and they say that eating animals and they understand that eating animals is just not good it's just wrong and so they don't do it so is it that it's just you know what is an agenda it's just people who choose peace over suffering so if, if if that's what vegans do, then I want to be a vegan because I want to choose compassion. Um, another thing, do do what feels right. That's again um, something that is just, yes, you, I mean, do what feels right in, in certain situations, but in other situations, take responsibility for your actions. For It's the same example with uh, be nice to other people, then you also should not just do what is right and just hit someone you take responsibility for your actions and you don't do it. So that's just not a valid excuse for me. Um, another thing is eating locally. And um, so this person said, yes, she wants to eat locally. And I just think you can eat vegan locally. I mean, there are so many different vegetables or fruits or grains that grow locally. So that's absolutely no excuse to not eat animal products. Another thing was um, that this person will only eat organic, homegrown uh, meat, like grass-fed grass meat. And the thing is, first, that um, this is what the person says, but almost always, when you, maybe one year later or two years later, check, check another video of that person, they go to a restaurant, and the restaurant usually doesn't have grass-fed, grass fed organic meat they have meat from factory farming so that's just or they go to mcdonald's and mcdonald's is literally just factory farming so i don't believe that at all maybe they do it for a couple of months but after that they do whatever they want because they don't have the connection and the second thing is even though it's organic you still kill the animal and even though the animal maybe had more space still you're, you're literally eating an animal and that's not in my opinion right and i it's not just my opinion it's just general not right so that's not an excuse to eat grass fed or something and um, another thing yeah just just share i'm just sharing my journey again it's the same as being nice uh, as the same as just listening to your inner voice or sharing my journey. No, just take responsibility for your actions and don't promote harm and suffering. Um, another thing, no more labeling. Um, I'm just looking. You don't need me. Ah, another thing. My doctor told me um, to, to that I have to eat meat again. And the thing is, I love science. I love what many doctors are capable of they like they literally save lives so super grateful for that but many doctors have no zero zero idea about nutrition they they don't have it in their cur curriculum especially doctors who are 50 years old 40 years old they just haven't studied it so or so, or maybe they studied it but they have just wrong information so you should even though a doctor might tell you hey eat meat again it's still wrong advice just because someone has a title just for some just because someone had a medical um, curriculum whatever it doesn't mean that they have a curriculum in nutrition or that they understand the connection of meat and um, so that's really important also unfortunately there's um, bias there's um, influence from meat dairy industry towards the pharmaceutical industry so just because a doctor says you need to eat meat it, it doesn't have to be if 
I mean, some doctors think that vegetarians are, are not able to survive and I'm 10 years not eating meat and I still survive and I don't have any um, deficiencies whatsoever. So just because someone in a white coat tells you something, it does not necessarily have to be the case. Um, and another thing, I think that was... Oh... Yeah, oh, another thing is uh, veganism is so black and white and it's the same with, yes, I'm, I will, I'm always for being differentiated and seeing other possibilities, but when it comes to basic things such as in integrity or um, being nice to people, being respectful to people, not harming animals, um, you know, that's just just foundational things and it's it's not about black and white, it's just about morality, it's about integrity. Um, yeah, so I think I said everything. So yeah, that, I think that's that's all I have to say in that video. I think it's just important to talk about it because if you don't talk about it, then you have these people with one million subscribers and they say, yes, veganism didn't work for me and they influence so many people. And that's just so sad because in the end, just millions of animals are going to die because of that and many people probably are going to get cancer or heart attack or whatever because of yeah of influencer promoting animal products and that's just a sad thing and that's why i want to talk about it to yeah just share some information and hopefully change your mind on on certain things so yeah i think that's important it's not just Everyone should live the way they want to live, yes, but also everyone should take responsibility and say, okay, if my way of living is harming thousands and millions of animals, maybe it's just not the right way to live. So that was the video for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you have a different opinion, then definitely write it in the comment section. I'm always open for a discussion. I'm always open for new ideas. Maybe I forgot something that can happen, of course. So write it down in the comment section. You can also find me on Instagram. If you want to DM me personally, write me on Instagram. Or you can also check out my website. I have amazing products about veganism, about a fruit-based diet on my website. Definitely check it out. And if you enjoyed the video, if you find found it valuable, and then definitely like it and subscribe to my channel for new videos. And if you're still vegan, if you're still not eating meat, then really amazing. You're doing good work and I'm so proud of you because I know that it takes strength. It takes willpower because unfortunately our world is not vegan, it's not vegetarian. But I'm really proud of you. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye bye.